plain teeth. This film tells the story about a girl with an oddity in her reproductive organs called a tooth vagina. Any man who tries to touch her will encounter a grisly turn. How horrible her tooth cave is. Let's find out in Teeth. Teeth begins in a small town near a nuclear reactor. There lived a girl named Dawn who was soaking in the toy pool with her friend, Brad. Not far from them, their parents, who are both single parents, chat about planning their future together. But when their parents were busy making out, Brad suddenly screamed and burst into tears. It turned out that Brad's finger was bleeding from something slashed. They asked what had happened to him, but he was silent. Meanwhile, Dawn didn't know anything at all. Then the scene switches to present day, where Dawn has grown into a beautiful girl. She became an activist and was a speaker at a seminar for youth groups who vowed not to have sex until they were officially married. Members of the community wear a red ring on the left ring finger as a symbol. Dawn then meets a young man named Tobey, who is a transfer student at her school. Tobey seemed interested in the beautiful Dawn, and Dawn also thought that Tobey was a good young man. Arriving at home, Dawn immediately approached her mother in her room. Dawn is worried about her mother's weak condition because recently, she is often sick. After their parents' marriage, Dawn and Brad now live in the same house as half-siblings. Unlike Dawn, who is a good girl, Brad is a delinquent. He would often prank Dawn and annoy her a lot. While at school, Dawn was often bullied by her friends for being a member of the virgin community, but she paid no heed. Even when her classmates mock her in biology class, she tries not to think about it. But unexpectedly, Toei the new boy defends her. Dawn blushed and became even more convinced that Tobey was a good boy. One day, Toei took Dawn, Phil, and Julia to the movies. While in the cinema, Phil and Julia were kissing, ignoring Dawn and Tobey who tried to resist the temptation of their teen lust. Dawn and Tobey seemed to have strong faith because they both managed to watch the film to the end. After that, the four of them went to a lake in the forest. Not far from the lake, there is a cave often used by young couples making love. But of course Dawn and Tobey didn't go there. They just sat by the lake sharing stories. Dawn reiterated her determination that she would only have sex after marriage. Tobey could not force and respect her decision. Dawn looked happy after a nice day spent with Tobey. She even imagining that she was married to Tobey and they were going to have their first sex. Gradually, her imagination ran wild until she saw something terrible and woke up from her fantasy. Dawn then called Tobey and said that she was starting to think inappropriate things about him. Tobey also said the same thing. They both finally agreed to keep their distance so as not to be tempted to do indecent things outside of marriage. At home, Dawn, who was seriously studying, was disturbed by the noise from Brad's room. It turned out that Brad was making love to his girlfriend in the room. Dawn then went to Brad and asked him to keep his attitude at home. But Brad instead said inappropriate things to his half-sister. One day, Dawn invites Tobey to meet at the lake. Of course, Tobey did not waste the offer and immediately went there. They then swim in the lake. The young couple looked happy. Even though they seemed shy and awkward at first, they end up getting closer and fondling each other. Not long after it rained, Dawn and Tobey then took shelter in the cave. They were making out in there. Tobey tempted to Dawn's beauty. He then seduced her and promised they won't do it again. Tobey's constant insistence made Dawn even more uncomfortable with his presence. Dawn had repeatedly refused, but Tobey persisted. Tobey, who was starting to lose his temper, intended to overpower Dawn. However, before Tobey had a chance to penetrate deeper, he suddenly screamed in pain and became even more hysterical after learning what had happened. It turned out that the tip of Tobey's dick was severed and blood splatter on the floor. Dawn was very surprised by what happened to Tobey. Still screaming hysterically, Tobey immediately threw himself into the lake and left Dawn alone. Dawn sat glum and pensive remembering all the things that had just happened to her. She went home and lamented her fate of not being a virgin anymore. Dawn was still confused about what had happened to her. Tobey's screams of pain were still ringing in her head and she felt very guilty for hurting him. The next day, Dawn was again appointed as a speaker in the virgin community. All members of the community warmly welcomed her presence. She felt that she did not deserve to be a speaker at a seminar because she had lost her virginity. She then ventured to admit that she was no longer holy. Hearing Dawn's confession, the entire community then mocked her and called her the devil. Dawn, who has now been ostracized by the virgin community, then asks Ryan to take her home. Ryan is Dawn's classmate, who likes her. Ryan didn't even hesitate to ask her out on a date, but of course Dawn refused. She didn't want the terrible thing that happened to Tobey happen to another man. Dawn then returned to the lake and saw Tobey's car still there. She checked the situation around the lake, trying to find Tobey's whereabouts. 
After searching for quite a long time and not finding Tobey anywhere, she then went to the top of the cliff. There, she threw away her red ring symbolizing her virginity because she had lost her chastity. Arriving at home, Dawn then found out about abnormalities in her genital on the internet. She found an article about the myth of the tooth vagina. Because tooth vagina is a legend, she intends to have her genital checked by a gynecologist. Dawn then sees Dr. Godfrey, a gynecologist in town. Knowing that she is an innocent girl, Dr. Godfrey turns out to have a hidden intention to molesting the girl. The doctor told Dawn to change and take off her panties. Instead of wearing gloves, he would instead examine Dawn's genital in person. Dawn was nervous because this was her first experience. When Dr. Godfrey directly inserted four fingers into her genital, she screamed in panic. Then suddenly the doctor screamed because he felt his hand had been bitten by something and the terrible incident happened again. The doctor's four fingers had been severed. Dawn increasingly panicked and hysterical to see the condition of the doctor and the blood splattered everywhere. She immediately ran away from there. While on the way home, Dawn saw several police cars passing on the road and Tobey's car being driven by a policeman. She headed to the lake to see what was going on. It turned out that the police found Tobey's body, which had been sinking for days. Dawn was very surprised and felt even more guilty because Tobey died because of her. Dawn returned home feeling chaotic and wished she could share her feelings to her mother. But when she got home, she saw her mother lying unconscious on the floor. Brad, who saw the incident, let it go and continued to have sex with his girlfriend. Dawn then took her mother to the hospital. While in the hospital, her stepfather told her to go home and rest. But Dawn did not immediately return home. She stopped by Ryan's house because she didn't know where to go and who to tell. Dawn, who was still in shock and hysterical about Tobey's death, told Ryan everything, including her tooth vagina. Ryan tried to calm and hugged her, even though he didn't really listen to Dawn's story because she was telling it while crying. Ryan then told Dawn to soak in the bath and give her a medicine to calm her tense nerves. When Dawn was in the bathroom, Ryan decorated his room in such a way to create a romantic atmosphere. Dawn, who had finished bathing, was immediately guided by Ryan to bed. For some reason Dawn felt very relaxed and comfortable when she was with Ryan. And when they had sex, Dawn's genital accepted Ryan with joy. It turns out that if she feels comfortable and happy while having sex, her genital will change to normal mode. But Ryan's luck did not last long. When he returned to having sex with Dawn the next morning, Dawn found out that Ryan had only made her a bet with his friends. Ryan will get some money if he manages to have sex with Dawn. Hearing this, Dawn was immediately emotional. While they were still having sex, her tooth vagina reappeared and bit Ryan's stick. Dawn immediately left Ryan's house. Brad is arguing with his father because his father was so annoyed with his nonchalant attitude when his stepmother passed out in front of the bathroom. Brad then said that he deliberately ignored his stepmother because he was annoyed with her and his father. As a child, Brad had a crush on Dawn, but his dream of dating Dawn had to be dashed because their parents finally got married. From then on, Brad decided not to care about his father and stepmother anymore. He then let go of his fierce dog and told the dog to attack his father. Turning to the hospital, Dawn was devastated when she found out her mother had passed away. Brad's girlfriend, Melanie, is in the hospital with her father. Melanie then apologizes to Dawn because she couldn't help her mother when she fell unconscious. Melanie was about to help, but Brad forbade and forced her to continue having sex. Immediately, Dawn was furious to hear this, especially after learning that Brad also told his dog to hurt their father. Dawn immediately went home and planned revenge on Brad. She cleaned herself up and dressed her best to seduce Brad. Dawn wore a white knee-length dress that was beautiful like an angel. Luckily, Brad wasn't suspicious of Dawn's sudden change in attitude. Dawn then lay down on Brad's bed. He was still worried about the unfortunate incident he had experienced as a child, so he repeatedly checked that Dawn's genital would not hurt him. But Dawn tried to reassure Brad that her vagina were now normal because it happened so long ago. Brad finally believed it. He lowered his pants and began to penetrate slowly. Dawn then regulates her feelings so that the teeth in her vagina does not appear. She deliberately waited for the right time to launch her revenge on Brad. She deliberately allowed Brad to penetrate deeper before her genital bit Brad's dick and cut. After taking revenge on Brad, she packed up her things and left the house on a bicycle. Dawn didn't think about where she was going. She just wanted to get away from everyone and try to forget all the terrible things that had happened to her recently. Unfortunately, her bike was damaged in the middle of the road. She then asked for a ride to a passing car on the road. Dawn stopped a car and found the driver kind enough to give her a ride. The rider is an old man who drives alone. When they stopped at a gas station to refuel, Dawn tried to get out of the car. 
but the grandfather had deliberately locked her in the car because he wanted to pervert the girl. Dawn smirked slyly, and the film ended.